All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another reaction video for today. And earlier today, they had a, uh, st not a state of play, it was like a, it was a thing, the state of Unreal or something like that, uh, where it was like a stream for the Unreal Engine 5, and they were talking about it, and I was going to watch it, but then I read the description that said it was going to be a lot of tech talk, and I'm not, I know if I watch it, I will be like, so I said, you know what, I'll wait until after. Uh, and actually, it would have been kind of cool if I watched it, because they did announce a new Tomb Raider game. I don't think they showed anything. Uh, but they also showed this, the Coalition, of course, the guys that did Gears of War 4 and 5. Uh, they also showed a uh, some Unreal Engine 5 tech stuff or whatever, um, which is kind of cool. But it would have been really nice to get that Tomb Raider surprise, but I don't think they showed anything. I, they might have shown like a poster or something. I have no idea. Don't think they showed any gameplay or anything, but it's Good news, there's another Tomb Raider game coming out. Hopefully uh, it gets back to what I loved about uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider and the uh, 2013 one. Um, I wouldn't even be against a reboot again, except this time make Lara Croft a little bit more of the original Lara Croft. Because I, li I like her in the newer ones, but she's a little bit more bland. I'm okay with that, usually, you know, for the most part, because she's still, you know, she's still a, a, a great heroine. But I think people forget how funny the original Lara Croft uh, was. Anyway. Yeah, I said funny and sexy. Anyway, Gears of War developer shows off Unreal Engine 5. That's the video. So let's take a look. Let's take a looky. This guy, I don't know why this guy immediately reminds me of that guy from The Order 1886. Anyway, let's go. Alright, show it off. Don't don't we've talk to me. No! Over a year now, Just show me! We've Give me! A lot of the benefits. Right. Our relationship with Epic uh, has really impacted positively the Gears of War franchise, whether it's right. collaboration or calls about various systems or contributing I would, code. I would dare say the uh, numerous prototypes and demos, and we're for now to show you, for uh, now on the poster today. child of the Unreal Engine is the Gears of War games. What you're seeing now is our Alpha Point demo. It was an Alpha early Point. access okay. demo that we showed at GDC in 2021. Looks like the thing there from No Man's Sky. There are different components, an abbreviated character cinematic, and a early large world technical test. I don't know why his lips look weird. The open world tech test was built to test a few things. It was built to test the landscape system. How does it react with Nanite? Um, how does world partition Nanite, streaming function? And how do these all come together and perform it looks on Xbox? It really good, but... Doesn't look any different than what they showed, like, what was that, like a year so and a half ago? humans came out about halfway through our character that rendering one low visual tech test demo. Visual test and so we immediately demo. sort of stopped what we were doing for a bit, took a look at metahumans, and wanted to see how it could oh, yeah, meta -human. our character that we were building. And so we pulled things like materials I was considering making my own meta -humans. and teeth and bring it all together and just see what level of fidelity we could hit, throwing all the latest tech in Unreal Engine 5 at it. This cinematic demo brings the character quality of the new rendering systems, the environment, technologies, cool. the new Lumen rendering system, all together to create oh, no, a real-time cinematic experience that goes beyond anything that we've done in the past. It's yes, David. Yeah. Shake that cloud. I'm very proud of them. They were all sort of labors of love for myself and the art team and engineering teams, and really opened our eyes towards what the next gen quality visual bar could be and so sure. it was a huge yeah, learning I think the faces look good or the face set us looks up good. really well when I, epic came and asked for help compared to like a face from last of us 2 though i don't see a we big difference this looked amazing though i was like i never played it myself but all the same features i should play it myself on my oled but this looked amazing at such a high quality level. Isn't it funny that it's they really had this big amazing. Matrix push and then the movie came out and With nobody saw it? the launch of Unreal Engine 5, yeah, what I'm most excited whole city for is guys explore. the developer efficiency that we have for our team. We really are able to deliver a AAA experience Imagine a that we've always game. wanted to. That would have been really without cool. Without the compromises. God, that would have been so cool. Hell yeah, baby! Unreal Engine 5. I feel like is a huge game changer and I feel like we haven't fully even realized how much of a game changer it's going to be. It basically um, democratizes game development across the world and yes there's accelerations for AAA developers like ourselves but it also um, is a great uh, entry point for Everybody. indie dev studios yeah, cool. and so I think it I mean, furthers along I like that indie vision. developers have Everyone limitations when it comes to their engines because then they get really really the really industry. inventive of what they do 
You know what I mean? Like, I, I, don't, I don't like that they have limitations. I shouldn't say that. What I'm saying is that I like that because they have the limitations, they really go above and beyond. Like, oh, uh, all right, I, I can't use the newest engine for whatever reason, maybe just money-wise, licensing-wise, whatever. Um, I use an old one and then just make really, really awesome-looking pixel art. And i rather play a million pixel art games than a, mi a million or even just one super realistic game. Okay, I love pixel art. I fucking play the shit out of pixel art games. Uh, especially if the pixel art's so good. Like, the animation's smooth and shit. I I, I almost want to say the pixel art is probably harder to do nowadays than just 3D. Like, that might not be 100% the case for every game. But maybe overall that might be the case. I don't know. Pixel art seems like... I did a little bit of pixel art in uh, school because I did uh, animation. Uh, and uh, it was pretty... It wasn't oh, super hard, but it was definitely a challenge um but uh, i should find that animation because it wasn't actually that bad i did a little guy just running it was pixar and he just like he looked like some fucking snes shit <laughs> it, it looked like modern day pixar where you get like stuff like that anno game um that came out recently but uh it looked all right i remember thinking like yeah yeah this looks pretty good yeah it was a guy with like a, i think if you had a hat on or something i don't know it was just like a generic looking dude <laughs> Anyway, uh, Gears of War developer shows off Unreal Engine 5 tech overview. I, don't know. I thought it'd be interesting to watch that one. Uh, the, what was it called? Alpha Point uh, thing I never saw before. I don't know if they ever released that. Maybe they did. But uh, it's cool. God damn it. I got something. Uh... Anyway, that's it. Bye.